Let me preface this by saying that, that as a boy, I saw my mother beaten and bruised. And so I'm sensitive to the subject. But I think college football coaches see things differently than the public sees it. Their first inclination when something like this happens, not something like Baylor, but something that they think the kid might be able to come back from, is how can I save this kid? Or more accurately, how can I put into place a, a pathway where he can save himself? First, because they pledge that to the parents of the recruits. And second of all, because the coach knows whether this is a, a kid that's kind of sketchy and this is just another expected thing, or if he's a good kid who made it one mistake. And some of these kids go back to places where they don't have a chance. And so I, I truly believe that it is unfair to criticize Bob Stoops for trying to find a way to save this guy because that was what he wanted to do. He didn't want to just be, have callous disregard for the victim and then uh, try to get him back to win football games. That's not what Bob Stoops did. Reasonable people will disagree with that choice. Bob Stoops is, is now second-guessing that choice. Mm -hmm. But I think, I think it's important to take what his choice was for what it was. And that was, okay, we agree the act was heinous. Is there a way back for the kid? And that's what Stoops was thinking. Uh, we've had lots of... How much progress have we made with issues of domestic violence when it seems that if there's a video, we react more and it means a little more. We're a little more amped up about it. The videos are good. I am glad the Ray Rice video came out. If the Joe Mixon video had come out at the time, mm -hmm. before Ray Rice, it would have had the impact of the Ray Rice video. Because when we read about things like this, it's academic. It sounds bad, OG, it's bad. When we see it, it becomes visceral. We feel it. And anybody that's been in a situation, and many people have, where they've watched it happen, it's, it's not an academic thing. And so now, going forward, really after Ray Rice and going forward, we no longer have to, to, to hear about something and then try to imagine what it must have been like. Now we know. And, and now I think players know that they can't do things behind closed doors, have somebody describe it, and get away with it because it doesn't seem so bad. Now, that's one side of it. Remember that that's separate from the other side, which is a coach who knows the kid, who knows whether or not this kid is worth trying to save here or whether they have to get rid of the kid. Those are two separate issues. Mm. But I think the video coming out helps us as a public to see it. And especially, it is the, the ultimate cautionary tale for anybody that might think in a moment of, of heated passion that it's a good idea to swing a fist.